How are things going in life, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with CJ and his life in San Fierro. The next video I am going to walk through or mission is one handed to CJ after he meets Mike Trino. At this point, the cartel or the um, group that CJ is trying to take down are going to give him missions, and the circle to do these missions is in front of his garage. This mission, the Outlier Outrider, is relatively easy, but you need to gain some weapons, as I will explain within the video. Partner. Jizzy, what's going on? Well, my business associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Excuse me, partner, I got a call coming in. A river dirty. Yeah, whatever you say. Bye. CJ is slowly building confidence with the syndicate, and they are going to assign missions to him from the point at his garage, which makes it easy. And so CJ has to meet uh, T Bone at a garage that interestingly is where he picked up his first mechanic in the mission he went on with the truth i will leave a link in the upper right corner and this mission is relatively easy and i will explain it to you again once we get further into the mission. You realize you're hitting a police officer? Man, what the hell are everybody anyway? Who the or what? Uh, what the hell? You think you can mess with uh, me? Uh, I, I will blow your head off and rape and kill your family, you snake! Uh, uh, you think you can fucking bullshit me and fuck me over? Uh, I know your uh, fucking uh, game, uh, Essie. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ah, uh, my throat! Who you working for? Nobody! Turn around and look at me. I'm just trying to make some money. Keep my mouth shut, I swear, man. <laughs> I almost had you, man. I almost fucking had you. <coughs> Watcha? You gotta be careful in this business, man. You know that. Are you boys done playing around? Yeah, we're straight, Bato. Oh, good. That's great. Now, we gotta go meet this shipment. We're late as it is. Let's go. You heard what Hefe said. Okay, it's kind of obvious that T-Bone doesn't trust you, but you got to drive him and Mike to a location of a van where they have their drug shipment. And this mission, again, is relatively, how shall I say, easy if you have a certain amount of weaponry, which I will cover once the mission begins. <laughs> Get out and grab a bike. The shipment has to get to the factory. You make sure it does, we make it worth your while. We're watching you, kid. See more, Nessie. We're watching. Okay, you have to escort the van. 
But what you want to do is get way ahead of the van and take out the first roadblock. And the best way to get way ahead of the van is to just accelerate like crazy because, again, the van travels extremely slowly. And once you get to the first roadblock, well, I'm going to point out that the best thing to do is once you park the bike, is to simply just get out the rocket launcher. If you had gone to Easter Basin or, yeah, Easter Basin Airport and gotten the rocket launcher, this is a piece of cake. You blow up the cars, you automatically kill the gun guys, and then you move on to the next roadblock, which is a little more complex. And you got to kill everyone and destroy all the vehicles in order for the van to continue on. And yeah, zoom in and blow up cars. And again, you can take some hits. Now, these cars get taken out. And yeah, you keep blasting them. And you'll kill most of the gunmen. And. Once you flip to any machine gun, you take down that gunman, and you got to run over here, and there's guys in the windows in the upper level, and you got to kill them. Again, you got to kill everyone in order for the van to get through. But if you keep going far enough ahead of the van, you can continue to take down the roadblocks well before the van arrives. This next roadblock is similar to number two, and you just stop here, you get out, flip to the rocket launcher, take down the cars, which will automatically kill the uh, gun guys, and once you take down those cars, you flip to a machine gun, take down any random gun guys and take down the snipers or guys on the second level. You've taken very minor damage. The van is slowly creeping up. Jump back on the bike and take down the final blockade, which is similar to the first one. I'm just going to use the machine gun and once I machine gun the bad guys down, I'm going to just use the rocket launcher to shoot the cars, blow up those vehicles, and all the roadblocks are taken down. Again, you got to make sure the van gets to the destination, so turn around and just ride by it. Again, it's easy. You just got to use the rocket launcher. And there's the van. No one's going to stop you. Just kind of roll by with it after you've blown up all the roadblocks. Things all blended to bed. Move your vehicle! Okay, we made it, but the cops gonna be all over the spot real soon. Get the van out of sight. I'm gonna get out of here. Come on, man. The mission is passed. CJ gets $9,000 plus some more respect and a three star wanted level, which CJ can easily get rid of by going to the paint and spray nearby. 
and getting the bike spray painted. Make sure you go into the paint and spray and not the body shop. The Once the bike is repainted, wait until the wanted level disappears and then CJ can go on his merry way to do other missions. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and asking you to like or subscribe. It's a great way for me to make a little extra money, maybe. Don't forget to stop by my website every Sunday for a great installment of Teen Spider Adventures. As always, thanks for stopping by.